So buildings and churches. St. Petersburg once proudly claimed that it had more churches and banks per capita than any other city in America, and used that statistic to lure even more development money to the Sunshine City. And uh, even though the 1920s saw buildings and business core get taller, late 1800s Central Avenue gave way to modern bank and trust buildings, elaborate 2,000 seat theaters, department stores, and those mysterious yet practical arcades. Nearly all pre-1960 structures had one thing in common, no air conditioning, and were designed for maximum airflow, especially in the summer months. Oh dear, yeah, not having air conditioning in Florida is not good. And you see all the early churches and hospitals and other types of buildings. Of course, farmland was still in operation. Uh, was a major hobby with that. And of course, you've got the banks building up uh, National Bank Directory, Flo Directory, Florida National Bank Building. Of course, you have where was the first Methodist Church. Where is that? This one? Possibly the oldest surviving winning church. Tampa Bay's winning. All right, Rays are up four to nothing at the end of the third. Right now, possibly the oldest surviving wooden church in St. Pete, 10th Street Church of God, is recorded at the opening in 1918, and located at 207 10th Street North, 1992. So it's 1900 on the northwest corner of Avenue, Fourth. Street City's first temporary library was once rear of the building. Oh, wow. From the be of course, and from the beginning, now we move on to hotels. Uh, from the beginning, Tampa Bay area has been, has been about railroads, the tourists who arrive on the trains, and the hotels that welcome them. St. Petersburg was no different. Uh, during the boom years of 1919-1926, St. Petersburg witnessed 10 major hotels being built, over 3,000 rooms available for guests, with the majority constructed near the downtown shorelines. Luckily, another, uh, luckily a number of them are still in use today. Oh, Vine Island Park Hotel. That's the Vine, Vine Hotel, the, the Vignoy Hotel. Vinoy Hotel. Uh, being built. And then you got the Swanee with a 118 room brick hotel built in 1923. The only hotel open to tourists while during World War II. And it's now an office building at Mirror Lake. Huh. The hotel at Ponce de Leon is a mission-style hotel constructed in 1922. It was the first major hotel, St. Pete, first high-rise on waterfront, 1926. This is kind of an over, overlay of the landscape of the different hotels in St. Pete. Of course, you've got the Serena was demolished in a spectacular implosion for a big name Hollywood movie, Lethal Weapon 3 in 1992. Of course, now you get to. Alright, well, from one. <laughs> move on to. Uh, 